Hi, I'm Ryan Szymanski, curator for Battleship New Jersey Museum and Memorial. Today, we've got a video answering a common question that we get asked about, were they shorter back then? The simple answer, no. You'll notice that uh, here in this passageway, amidships on the O1 level, uh, I am six feet tall, just about dead even, 72 inches, and uh, my head is touching the overhead. There is no extra room here. To walk through here comfortably, I have to duck a little bit. So the ship is not made for people the size of today. Surely that must mean that back then they were shorter. I, I get asked this question all the time. I, I hear it all the time. Uh, and the simple answer is no, the ship was built in the 1940s, some of the design stuff happens in the 1930s, and uh, people were not significantly shorter back then. In fact, uh, my grandfather, who served in the Navy post-World War II uh, in, in the 1950s, uh, I am wearing one of his hand-me-down shirts right now, and it is roughly the right size for me. He's about my size, a little bit taller, actually. So, no, people weren't shorter back then. I used to especially get this question back when I worked on Constellation, a Civil War era sailing ship, where when you go, the lower in the ship you go, the more likely you are to hit your head on the frames and the overheads. The average height during the Civil War was about five foot seven. That's about 150 years ago. And that's about two inches shorter than the average height today. So, in the last 150 years, on average, people have only gotten about two inches taller. Uh, but, going back to the Civil War, there are absolutely people my size and taller. So, clearly, they aren't making these ships big enough for normal crew members. It all goes back to this being a battleship and not a cruise ship. They are piling a tremendous amount of weight on this vessel, and they need a tall superstructure to be able to spot the fall of shot from the main battery guns over the horizon. And the higher you build something above the water, the more that thing wants to roll over. The more weight you put high up above the water, the more that thing wants to roll over. So, a very common design principle on ships, especially warships, is to make the decks as short as possible. And in some cases, those spaces are not tall enough for people to walk through. Uh, particularly this passageway, which seems to have had uh, air conditioning ductwork added, which is why it's even lower than as designed. So the ship is just too short in places so that it can be an effective battleship. And you can have an armored conning tower weighing 600 tons, five stories above the main deck, about eight stories above the waterline, and you can have a 12-story tall superstructure with range finder and then masts and radars on top of that without having so much top weight that the ship will roll over and sink. Uh, and battleships do typically have top weight issues. Oftentimes when battleships sink, they roll over. Remember the famous story about the ship's guns falling off. Uh, practically any time you find a sunken battleship, uh, it tends to be upside down. If you look at the Japanese battleships in Iron Bottom Sound that Dr. Ballard found, um, they're upside down. They, as soon as they started taking on a little bit of water, that extra top weight of the tall pagodas took them over. Bismarck was being shot to pieces from all sides, and yet she capsized and lost her turrets and it's uh, only a coincidence in her two mile descent, the ship managed to right herself before striking the seabed and landing right side up. Uh, if you look at many of the ships that were sunk in Scapa Flow, either the German battleships of the high seas fleet in 1919, or uh, the British battleship Royal Oak sunk at the beginning of World War II, uh, they all roll over and they're on their sides or their bottom. They don't sink straight down. So top weight is an issue. By making the decks uncomfortably short, you can help mitigate that a little bit. So, did you think people were significantly shorter back then? 
let us know in the comment section below what your impression of the growth in average height has been over time. This is something that's always confused me, and I'd love to hear where you guys are coming from who believe that up until now. Battleship New Jersey receives operating support from the New Jersey Department of State, also from a number of other businesses and private individuals like yourselves. We really appreciate the support you guys have given the museum. And there's a link in the description below if you'd like to donate to continue supporting us. You can also support the museum and our YouTube channel by liking, sharing, and subscribing so more people find out about us. Thanks for watching.